Yeah. Because he's holding a guitar. No, you think so, man. <laughs> and he is going to do something with that guitar. Everybody give it up for Ted! Such an honor to be on this hallowed stage. I'm still a little bit rocky though, guys. You know, I don't know if anyone noticed that. So. Hang on, I've got to do a bit of adjustment because I've got uh, you know, some more complicated equipment. There you go. Gotta get it face level. So yeah, you'd think that, you'd think that I was going to play something because I got my guitar, but the truth of the matter is that uh, sometimes I laugh so hard at my own jokes, I actually get a raging heart on them. You know, just kind of <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I, I was also really happy to hear that today's International Singles Day. I didn't know that, but um, as it turns out, I'm, I'm quite newly single. I had a, a one-year relationship that ended in the last month, so I'm a little bit down about that, actually. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So this guy's like laughing at my pain. <laughs> <laughs> It all ended, you know, it ended pretty amicably. I mean, um, you know, she said, you know, it's not anybody's fault. Well, I'm pretty sure it was hers. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, uh, um, you know, when I think back to, to where things went wrong, I think it was like communication issues between us. So I'll give you an example. When we first met, she said, I, I want you to be a gentleman. I was like, what does that even mean? And she says, well, like, I want you to open doors for me. So I said, well, no problem. So I got her a job at Starbucks. <laughs> so I can reference to Starbucks. <laughs> and she said, no, 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 I want to be treated like a woman. And I said, no, oh, there should be no problem. I'll just make sure you get paid 30% less than your male counterpart. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, we got into things a little bit. And, you know, quite early on in the relationship, she said to me one weekend, she says, I'd like you to take me away next weekend. Somewhere exotic. Right, okay. So I took her to a strip club. <laughs> she didn't seem that impressed. I had to say about halfway through, uh, you know, the third act, she turned to me and she said, you know, you don't really show me the same kind of attention that you're showing some of these women. So I thought, I don't know how to deal with this. So I shoved ten bucks down her panties. <laughs> she didn't like it at all. I think she would have been happier with it if it had not been coins. <laughs> And, you know, honestly, as things progressed, you know, things weren't really working out for us in the sack either. I mean, uh, just by way of example, she said to me once, she said, I, I think that foreplay should be at least 20 minutes. And I'm like, duh. And I'm like, the clue's in the name, it's called foreplay. Told you I love my But she when you guys leave a void. <laughs> the other thing, she, she had this complaint, she said, you know, she says, Ted, you come to it. Well, I thought it was a bit rich coming from her, but at least I bothered her. <laughs> oh. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sort of towards the end of our relationship, we were trying to spice things up a little bit, and um, yeah, we thought we'd, we'd try something a bit kinky, and I said to her, I mean, what are your, what are your sort of deepest fantasies? And she said, I, I want to be punished and restrained. And I thought, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I confiscated her iPhone and I grounded her for a week. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that was kind of like the end of the relationship. The nail in the coffin, really. Uh, so now I'm just sad and horny. It turns out, it turns out there's no aphrodisiac one of them. So, uh, um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't realize just how horny I was until the other day. My eyes were getting a bit blurry and I kind of went and looked at myself in the mirror and I saw these sort of milky white fluid levels halfway up my eyeballs. <laughs> And you was pretty backed up at that point. <laughs> but anyway, we're we're you know we're still friends, and in fact we're catching up next week. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's our closure meeting. Yeah, close off the relationship that way. Um, but honestly, I don't really uh, I don't really want her to know how how I find the whole thing. So uh, you know, I think the song kind of sums it up. Morning, didn't feel that bad. Last night was down and I wanted the worst I've ever had. I hadn't asked enough. I drank a few drinks. I wasn't thinking about you, babe, no matter what you think. Went back to my hotel room, took a few phone calls. Clean sheets on the meta bed and the arms on the walls. I'm alright. I'm alright now, baby. I'm alright now, baby. Yeah, I'm alright. Without you. You can clap along. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Woke up this morning, I didn't have the blues. So I put on my shoes, so tired, I stuffed my running shoes. Went up to the reservoir, the drunk of my lot too. And I wasn't thinking about love, babe, but I wasn't missing you. Went back to my hotel room, I went straight to bed. I didn't moan and I did not cry. I did not wish I was dead. I'm alright. I'm alright now, baby. <laughs> We're gonna work it out, don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy our lunch. Time. She's gonna tell me how fucking fantastic her life is. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her how fucking fantastic mine is. <laughs> she's gonna know all about it. Apparently, she's got a new boyfriend. You know, I asked her on the phone, I said, does he come too early too? <laughs> she said, well, he's kind of into this thing called tantric sex. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, what does that mean? She said, well, five orgasms. <laughs> I said, oh my god, how does he do it? She says, no, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Woke up this afternoon and I sat up in my bed. There was a known in my gut and there was a pound in my head. So I went to the bathroom with a medicine chest and sleeping pills and red blades and all the rest. But I was control base, I was so relaxed, I took out my dental floss. It's my favorite kind, unwaxed. I'm alright. Yeah, 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 I'm alright now. I'm alright now, baby, yeah. Thank you.